I recently uploaded a video about nuclear-powered planes, a crazy Cold War concept where they tried to put a nuclear reactor on a bomber. Because obviously that's a great idea. Video linked below. Anyway, these projects were ultimately cancelled. And one of the biggest issues of nuclear planes was the crew. It had to be protected from the radiation with massively heavy shielding. And even if the nuclear plane had worked perfectly and could have remained airborne for weeks, the crew could not, especially not in a cramped little cockpit. And this is the point why today the entire concept of nuclear propulsion for aircraft is being reconsidered. Because we are now in the age of the UAV, the Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, or simply drones. Aircraft that are not flown by a crew, but by a controller on the ground, or even by themselves. Without the necessity for a human crew, could nuclear-powered drones become a thing? Well, certainly not in the West. In 2012, when a research proposal was floated by Northrop Grumman in the US, it was shut down within hours, not days, by government agencies. What about other countries? These here are the few pictures we have of the secretive Russian Burevestnik, nuclear-powered cruise missile. Allegedly, just as the Russian hypersonic missiles, they were developed to overcome missile defenses. They can change their course and fly very close to the ground, which makes them much harder to intercept. Due to their nuclear reactor, they can supposedly remain airborne long enough to strike any place on Earth. But basically all information available about this is just rumors, so nobody can really say anything definitive about its engines, payload, range or other capabilities. Or whether it's even a serious project or just propaganda. Just like in the Cold War. I guess some things never do change. Subscribe for more.